Hong Kong's largest teachers' union formed in 1973 disbands just a week after Chinese state media called it a being, a tumor that must be eradicated. This union consisted of 90% of all education practitioners in the territory. Here's a summary of the article. The professional teachers' union announced on Tuesday that it is disbanding, around a week after the government severed ties with the body as it came under attack by state media. In a letter to its members, the union described the decision to disband as unwanted and difficult, but said it was one made after much contemplation and reflection. The government earlier announced that it would stop working with the union, describing it as no different than a political group, and accusing it of having encouraged students and teachers to join anti-government protests. The government's move came soon after state media attacked the pro-democracy group and called for it to be eradicated. Responding to Tuesday's news, one union member told RTHK, Actually, when we heard about the criticism a few days ago, the result is what we expected. I think people will tend to be silent in the future. There will be more control and we will have less freedom than before maybe in terms of school curriculum. Another PTU member said, It is an organization that has a long history in Hong Kong. I think there will not be another organization like this in the future. Representing almost 100,000 members, the PTU was not just the largest teachers group in Hong Kong, but also the biggest union for a single profession. This post received a score of 7,700, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Any organization not under the immediate control of the party is a threat to the party. This applies whether it is a trade union or a religious group. First they came for the communize hall up. Well, kind of the point. China hasn't been a communist country for a little over 40 years now. Now they are just another right-wing authoritarian state. Even if it were a communist state, the fact remains it's an oligarchic autocracy. A workers' union, even if it's meant to be ideologically on the same side, is a competing power structure whose purpose is to oppose oppressive power structures. Like an oligarchic state. Bonus points in that, since China internally is at least somewhat a planned economy, the only employer a teacher's union can even fight is the state. If there's one thing communists can't stand, it's workers organizing to fight for their rights. S. Hopefully this will at least make more people realize China isn't communist. It's state capitalism. Nothing is ever communist. It is always the no true Scotsman. Greater than nothing is ever communist. Because capitalism will never allow it to exist anywhere in the world. Socialism and communism are failed systems because every time there was an attempt to implement them, they were squashed by the Kia. I mean, Lenin was around before the Cold War. We've been doing foreign intervention since before he was born. Disbanding a teacher's union doesn't seem very communist but okay CCP. Almost as if CCP isn't communist you're so close to getting it, I believe in you. Almost as if giving the state full control over the economy always has and always will lead to authoritarian governments instead of utopian societies with no scarcity. Hello Brain Drain. We've been expecting you. Not sure about US, but at least in Canada, good teaching positions are notoriously difficult to get, especially if you don't teach science, math, or English, and doubly so if you are from a foreign country. In the US they teach and treat their teachers like shit. In Canada teachers are paid $100,000 once they get experience and get comprehensive benefits, time off, etc. The USA in particular treats them really badly. I would never advocate being a teacher in the USA or moving there as one. It's kind of scary too since that means only low qualified peoples are teaching the new generations there. They face with two choices, keep their name only but have to listen to everything that CCP said or disband. That's the same choice that Apple Daily News face. Rather than becoming an entity under CCP, it is better to disband and make a note in history that oppression did happen. Otherwise, CCP will say that you willfully follow me, not because we force you. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.